Over the past two years here, I have done a ton of upgrades to my Creality Ender 3. Uh, I've touched everything on the machine from the build surface, swapping it out for glass as well as flex plates. I've upgraded the hot end. Uh, I've upgraded the extruder multiple times. I've added auto bed leveling. Uh, but one thing that I have not ever upgraded is the uh, main board or the controller of the machine. Well, recently, Big Tree Tech reached out to me and asked if I was interested in reviewing their new main board, the SKR Mini E3 version 1.2. After doing a little bit of looking at the machine, seeing the price point on it, seeing what it offered, I definitely had to get my hands on one. So in this video, we're gonna talk about why you might want to upgrade your uh, Ender 3 to this controller board and why I think that in 2020, as of right now, this is the best upgrade that you can do for your Ender 3. So without further ado, let's get into it. So starting off here, let's talk uh, initially, one of the main things I'm sure a lot of people wanna know before I even get into it is how much does this board cost? As of right now, the board on Amazon goes for a little bit under $40. I think as I'm making this video, it's about $38. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's talk about all the features of this board packs and what you are getting for that $38. So starting off with this board has a 32-bit processor. The default Ender 3 board has an 8-bit controller. 8-bit versus 32-bit, 32-bit you have a lot more processing power. What does that mean as of right now? Well, realistically, not a whole lot. Uh, currently, there is definitely development and things going on behind the scenes, and I'm sure it won't be too far out until there are certain things that a 32-bit board um, can do feature-wise that an 8-bit board just doesn't have the processing power to do. Uh, as of right now, a 32-bit board, though, is still able to read further down the line as far as uh, G-code when printing, and by doing that, it's able to make wiser moves as far as the acceleration and uh, jerking and going around arced surfaces or curved surfaces. So that can mean that your prints can be a bit quicker, uh, but realistically with a 32-bit board, what you're doing at this point is kind of future-proofing it. So that way, when there are features and things that take advantage of that extra processing power, you will be good to go and your board will be, you know, hopefully fully compatible with those features. So the SKR Mini E3 version 1.2, which is a mouthful, I'm just gonna call it the SKR Mini for the rest of this video, um, comes packed with Marlin 2.0, which is the latest Marlin firmware. Uh, of course, Marlin, being that they update their firmware very often, there is a chance that when you receive your um, board that the Marlin 2.0 version might be outdated and you might want to download and install the latest if there's some features or bug fixes that you're interested in. But regardless, it is a much newer version of Marlin than what comes packed on the default Creality Ender 3, which is running the older uh, one point whatever version of Marlin. So with this, you're getting the, uh, again, Marlin 2.0, the latest or up to when they, you know, flash their SD card that it comes with uh, version of Marlin on the card already. One thing that is really nice is that also for safety, the board comes pre-flashed, like I said, with Marlin 2.0, but this also has thermal runway protection, which is fantastic. Uh, and realistically, every board without any excuse should have this enabled by default from the factory. But unfortunately, as we've seen with some machines, this has not been the case. Now, I don't no, as of right now, I'm assuming that Creality is, is abiding by that and that all their machines do come with it. But if for some reason your board did not come with thermal runway protection, instead of having to go in and play around with any settings, you plop this board in and it does have that enabled from the factory. And basically what that does is if there is anything going on with the thermistor where the thermistor is defective or the thermistor has, you know, its life is gone and it starts to throw out some really bizarre uh, temperatures readings, the board and it will actually halt the printer and it won't just keep trying to ramp up the heater cartridge to hit those temperatures that it's not able to hit. So this is a really important thing to have enabled because if the heater cartridge keeps trying to climb to reach a temperature that it thinks it's below, but in all reality, it's much hotter than that, then you can destroy the heater cartridge and your printer. Um, and that's if you're lucky. And if you're unlucky, I mean, it can actually cause a fire. So having um, having this uh, firmware feature enabled is a huge, huge um, must and really great that it does come uh, factory with this board. So a lot of people I know want to upgrade their 3D printers, but maybe they are not comfortable playing around with electronics as far as um, having to do any 
uh, wiring per se that's that's complex or requires soldering uh, or even playing around with firmware too much well good news is that if you have this board is not specifically just usable on the Creality Ender 3 machine you can use it on really any machine um, but it does come pre-configured for the Creality Ender 3 meaning that you can plug this into your Creality Ender 3 and it is already got the firmware Marlin 2.0 configured for all the parameters that the Creality uh, Ender 3 has. So seriously, all you've got to do is unplug the cables from your existing board, plug them into this new board, and you're off to the races. Reboot your um, Creality Ender 3 and you are good to go, which is insane. That is something that I've never experienced before. The total install for this board was realistically like 15 or 20 minutes, and that was only because I was trying to be really careful and get footage. But the install of this is just insane. So not only um, do you not have to cut or splice cables or do any soldering, but even the form factor of the board is identical to the existing Creality Under 3 board, meaning that all you've got to do is undo the four screws holding your stock board in place, unplug all the cables, plug them back into the exact same slots on this new board, screw those four screws in, and you are up and running. No firmware configuring, no soldering, no splicing. Like, it, it is awesome. And so um, this really eliminates a lot of that kind of uncertainty and maybe um, reason that someone would be holding back from upgrading to another 32-bit board or even just other 8-bit board that's on the market uh, as of right now. The SKR Mini E3 does come with better drivers for your stepper motors. They come with 2209, TMC2209 drivers, which are much better than the stock ones that come on the Creality Ender 3. I didn't do a before and after, which makes me sad comparing how um, loud the motion and the movement of the Creality Ender 3 was compared to um, after installing this new board, but it is night and day difference. When I first homed the X, Y, and Z axis on the Creality after upgrading it to this new board, it is nearly silent. And I will play a little snippet holding the mic up to it so you can hear just how quiet it is. But It is insane, and so if you're someone, for me it hasn't been, I, I've been in 3D printing long enough to, um, this what currently is available is still quieter than what my first machines were, but for somebody that uh, is getting a 3D printer that might think, wow, it's really loud, the motion, and you have to have it inside of your office or inside of your home versus being in your shop or a garage, having the quieter stepper motor drivers is really nice, and it does have Stealth Chop 2, which is also great. So yeah, that in itself, just having your machine be that much quieter is a pretty sweet upgrade in my opinion. A while back, I installed a BL Touch to my Creality Under 3. I made a tutorial that showed a lot of you guys how to do it as well, which you guys loved, and it helped a lot of you, which is awesome. But there is, uh, there was some work involved. You had to splice into the LCD screen cable. You had to cut your existing uh, Z end stop plug so that way you can splice and solder it and heat shrink tube it to the BL touch and plug it into the existing slot. Well, the good news is, is that with this board, they added a um, dedicated port for a probe, meaning that if you want to upgrade, it's not going to require you to do any of that soldering. It's literally got a plug that you can just plug your BL touch into, configure it in the firmware, and you are up and running, which makes it a lot easier to install. And also, if for some reason you ever wanted to reverse your install, I would have to re-solder the, uh, the Z end stop and rewire it in, while with this one, all you'd have to do is unplug the BL touch and disable it in uh, the firmware and you'd be off to the races. So for ease of use and convenience, if you want to add a auto bed leveling probe or some kind of a BL touch or, or sensor, um, that makes it really, really nice and a lot easier to do. Another thing that is really sweet is that it is compatible with the default LCD screen. A lot of times when you go with a third party board, you might not be able to use the stock uh, LCD screen that comes with your machine, but you can use the standard knob screen that comes with your Creality Ender 3. There is also a handful of touch screens that you can now use with this board, which is really nice. I personally love using touch screens on 3D printers. I typically haven't gone out of my way to upgrade for a touch screen because it still has all of that functionality usually, but within the knob, kind of the scroll wheel that we're all used to. But for somebody that does want to upgrade their 3D printer and really does want a touch screen um, to make their machine a bit more modern, if you will, that is also awesome that you have that uh, availability and that is something that is enabled when you do go with this board. So again, install for me was really easy. This was the easiest board swap or upgrade that I've ever done. I'm so used to back in the day, taking the existing board, ripping it out, having to cut, solder, and splice everything into a random 
ramps Arduino board and we have really come a long way since then. It, it almost feels like archaic to me. So um, for someone looking to upgrade their Ender 3 in 2020, I certainly think this is a huge upgrade for $38. I will certainly follow up in a month or two months or a few months time uh, when I've gotten some hours and uh, more print time with this 3D printer uh, and the control board under my belt. But as of right now, I am incredibly impressed. And I do think that again, for the price, that is a really, really small price tag of $38 to completely overhaul the brain of your 3D printer. So if you wanna find out more or purchase one of the Big Tree Tech SKR Mini E3 V1.2s, which is the longest name ever, uh, links will be down below in the description. If you've got any questions specifically about the board that I didn't cover, whether it's feature-wise or configuration-wise, let me know in the comments down below and I will do my absolute best to answer. And if I don't know the answer, reach out to Big Tree Tech and possibly get that answer for you guys. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. I make a video every single Saturday on something 3D printing related or something tech related or something project that I'm working on. So if you enjoy this video, make sure to stick around and check out some of the other videos. Huge thank you to all of my Patreon supporters that help me um, and allow me to spend more time creating content for you guys. I really enjoy making videos and showing off things and being able to review these awesome uh, printers and devices. And so you guys really make this something that I'm able to spend more time doing. So uh, on that note, thank you guys again. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Peace guys.